Good morning. This is Monday of the second week of Easter, and it looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day. And this week we're doing Easter, but not Easter Sunday anymore, so there will be no Gloria. There are two intentions today. The first one is for the eternal repose of Maggie Hansen, and the second one is for the intentions of Matthew White. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Brothers and sisters, let us pause to recognize our sins so as to better celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. <clears throat> Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are the Lord who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them, he terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed Blessed are all who take refuge in in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take their hands in the Lord. Alleluia. 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 If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
and with him spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us raise our voices in petition to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for all those all religious leaders, not only Christian, Catholic and Christian, but of all faiths, that they will truly uh, teach truth as they see it, uh, but always also seeking what is good for everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Uh, let us pray for our government, especially at the federal level, that uh, they move forward with some things that are, in my opinion, late. Uh, or move away from bickering to real joint work together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Now let us pray for all of those who are rather lonely or have no one to pray for them, that they will not slip into despair and despondency. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. 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 Let us pray also for all of those whom the Lord is inviting to serve as ordained or consecrated persons in the church that they will respond generously to God's invitation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. And let us pray for the intentions of Matthew White, uh, who is one of the intentions today. For him we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. And let us also pray for those who have preceded us in death. At this Mass we remember in particular Maggie Hansen. For her eternal repose we pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Almighty God, we ask that you receive these prayers through your Son, Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Bless thou, you Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and of the world, his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, 
and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. To him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Maggie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the blessing, a little announcement. We well, here in the Acts of the Apostles, certain heroism of the apostles as they face opposition. We hear that through the Easter season. And uh, certainly a lot of that happening around the world. Um, not advertising any company or anything, but I have watched two movies of uh, one Father Rupert Meyer, who was in opposition to the, to the Nazis in Germany. And, all, and the one I watched yesterday was called Messenger of Truth. It's about uh, Jerzy Popielewski. I think both of them are now blessed. Um, he, of course, was during the, the late uh, communist era in uh, Poland. And they're both available on Amazon Prime for free, if you, if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, they're not, it's, it's not something you watch with a bowl of popcorn, especially uh, Messenger of Truth. It's, it's got a lot of tearful moments, at least it did for me. But, is we recognize that even rather recently, just 30 years ago, 40 years ago, um, this was still going on in Europe. It's still happening, especially in the Middle East and, and other places. So we need to remember that. And also, thank you again for those of you who are able to continue to get your donations to the parish so we can continue to move forward and, and function. Uh, thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.